So therefore, you get in different traits inside your, your litters that are not called so light. So now, my thing to you, being an enthusiast, backyard breeder, professional breeder, show breeder, dog enthusiast, dog trainers, look at the old documentaries. Look at the old dogs. If your dogs do not look like those dogs, you don't have a Connie Corso. Bottom line. Bottom line. Bottom line. Bottom line. Corsos do come in a different traits. You have your the ones that like Kokomo. You have the ones that look like the bearhead dogs. And a lot of your dogs look like bearhead dogs. A lot of American dogs show variety look like the bearhead dogs. That's a traditional sound type of corso. And then you got some that's in between those that look like something else. And I don't want a no dog that looks like a neo and a box across. I can't have that. Not a good that's that's not a good look, not a good cross. I don't want a corso that looks like a bull mastiff. You know people were was complaining about the Rottweiler component in the dogs. That was done, but done to a small amount. Wasn't a lot of breedings that was done with the Rottweiler. It was done maybe about three times. If that. If that. And then they would bred back into pure corsos. One breeder did that. Not multiple breeders. One breeder did that. Yes, it was known. Mike blew up the spot. It wasn't supposed to be out there like that, but it is what it is. But it wasn't Coco Mowing though. Like a lot of some enthusiasts were saying out of their mouth and not speaking knowledge. But now even with their proteges over there overseas and etc. Like I said before, dummies, that these dudes bred boxes into the dogs and you don't have an issue with that though. This, this shit brought a lot of detrimental diseases. You want to throw up on some hip dysplasia? Hip dysplasia can be corrected easily just by calling out and then breeding properly. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. After a few generations of orphaning and doing it properly, you shouldn't have a problem no more. Primarily, like on some real stuff, you shouldn't have a problem no more. So that could have been avoided and could have been corrected. But far as bringing epilepsy, ain't no correcting that except for calling out or breeding from. So you're gonna have to breed to the American dogs. That's the lifeline. So you getting your dogs from the Ukraine, they have the boxer component in them. It is what it is. Or the bull master or the barber component in them. You know what I'm saying? Because people over there too, not saying that a lot of them dogs in the Ukraine are not working because the Russians don't play that. If you don't work, you don't eat, you die. Simple as that. Even with the German Shepherd stock. Here in America, the German Shepherd stock was cut off at once upon a time with the police force on some real stuff. This is when they started um, the, the Malawa and getting the Dutch Shepherd and then they went and got the Ukrainian Shepherds, German Shepherd variety over there in Ukraine. Those dogs did excellent. The reason why, American German Shepherds were fear biters. Were a bunch of fear biters. They, they served their purpose in the 50s and 60s and the 70s with the riots and stuff like that. And that got played out. And them dogs were doing things that they wasn't supposed to be doing for as a working dog. And again, this is the same plight with the core soul. Core souls, I'm speaking to a lot of dog trainers and as you can see, I'm manifesting that. I'm speaking to a lot of dog trainers and they're saying that the dogs are different. Dogs are different in look and temperament. And even confirmation is a difference. Even top enthusiasts said that, yo, these dogs don't move like them old school dogs back in the day. But I could, you know, like I said, you know, dudes are friends with so-and-so, so he's a good dude, and I'm not going to talk bad about him. My thing is this, though. If you got a good dog, I'm not a hater like that. I'm going to say you got some good stuff. Even if I don't like your type, I'm going to say, yo, that's what's up. Your dog is good. Your dog is official. It's good. It's good. But my thing is this. Even if you're my man, and I showed and prove that, if you are not breathing so, you know, like sound stuff, I'm going to say what it is. Like, nah, I don't like those. I don't like that. 
and it is what it is. I'm being honest. Even with my own dogs, my own personal dog, I'm very hard on my stuff, like on some real stuff. So even back in the day, if you got a dog from me, I'm not going to sell you no bullshit. I'm not. Oh, it's about the money. You just want to get the DQ dogs and you just want to know. This is proven, showing and proven with the DQ dogs that them things are called souls. The dogs in that thing in the show ring, a lot of them dogs, those dogs ain't called souls. To the show enthusiasts, those are not called souls. And you know it. You don't say nothing. Y'all don't do nothing. So, again, with F. C I Sack I don't have no respect for you Chino Was supposed to have been the world champion Three times supposedly Because I don't really really know exactly But this is what's been said But if this is the case And you have Chino's offsprings Or dogs are related to Chino In any form or fashion Hmm You don't own a core soul Bottom line of that, that is not a kind of call. So, you have any dogs that are like a bull mastiff, a barvel, because you have some enthusiasts. Yo, my call looks like a barvel. Really? And this is an excuse. This will be an excuse for them to breed a barvel into their call. So, and you will never know. This is why I'm telling everybody to step up. Stop listening to everybody. Get the old school books get an old school Neapolitan book look at the dogs look at your dogs resemblance right now not just that look at the statues and paintings and stuff like that and then you can see the essence of what colors the dogs came in as well oh they don't like a corso that was the corso knock it off knock it off because a lot of you don't know if a course or if it bit you in the behind. Like, you wouldn't know. Step your breeding programs up. Learn the history. Not this man made made up, like I said, to compete, to appease some of the Italian enthusiasts over there. Because I don't care about their feelings. I show that. And I don't even care about a lot of you American breeder feelings. Like, I don't care. I don't care. You're not my buddy. You're not my friend. And we're going to keep it like that, too. But a lot of you... Because some of you are real racist Like on some other stuff That's another story <laughs> That's another story On some real stuff But you know what I'm saying The common link is with these dogs And again you know I had a lot of enthusiasts lie on me Yo you a dog You a dog peddler You a dog You, you, you know I'm a puppy miller But yo you got three four litters a year But I'm a puppy miller Your dogs don't have no consistency But I'm a puppy miller and then you be lying to the public like you know and you know nothing. Just like somebody spoke highly of another dude. Highly of this guy. Yo, this guy knows. This dude know nothing. Nothing. And then you lie. Yo, well, I knew this guy. You're a liar. Hey, you're a liar. Oh, I was around back then. No, you wasn't. You came around 2000, dude. You wasn't about, you wasn't about that. Stop it. Stop it. And it's sad though, because a lot of enthusiasts that bring in other enthusiasts, your students is, is pieces of crap. Like it is what it is. And they're damaging the breed. So now what I'm doing is trying to correct this situation. Simple as that. And I understand like a, do a lot of dog trainers is like, yo, we try to do the same thing, nobody will listen. But now my thing is I'm gonna do the same thing, but people gonna listen. Like it or not, they're going to listen. A little bit more information now. So now, the truth will be manifested. It will be told. And it will be told in its proper content. You know what I'm saying? Not in lies no more. You know what I'm saying? Too much lies been told. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. And about them DQ colors that, you know what I'm saying? Definitely the point it. White and the blaze and the cream should be allowed on every registry on some real stuff but i don't respect you like i really don't respect sax iccf akc ukc i don't respect none of these registries none of you none of you 
because again, a lot of you know that them dogs that you are accepting are mixed. Them dogs bring in all types of diseases and you still continue to breed that stuff. And then you want point fingers, point fingers at this one, point fingers, no, point fingers at you because you knew your man is breeding that stuff, you know who he is, and you condoning that. That's wrong. Just like when Chino was picked to be world champion three times, that was wrong. So the politics in Corso is crazy, ain't it? So now you're telling me that, yo, this dog got about 100 ribbons and this and that and the third and they did that and did this. What did they do in protection? Did he herd some sheep? What did he do? Oh, no, but he got law. I don't want to hear it. it. means nothing to me. If Chino was allowed and won three consecutive years, I don't want to hear nothing about no show dog or some real stuff. Unless it's old school stuff. Only one I give credit to out of the old school dogs, Bullen. Like Bullen a lot. I like a lot of the um the service dogs. I like on some real stuff. Plud. I like on some real stuff. Not boss here, but Boris. And there's some other old dogs too that were pretty cool looking, you know what I'm saying? Now to come back, let's bring it back about the cream colored dogs. Because American dogs don't make cream colored dogs like the Italian dogs do that's coming almost in white. That's an Italian thing. It's coming out of Italy. Not American dogs do that. And again, around the world, points is coming out of everywhere. Dogs that are American, dogs that are not American bred are coming with points. Now they're coming in Powerball. Like I said, whatever went in is manifesting in the breed. So it is what it is now. So again, get the real traditional looking core souls. Find you an enthusiast to tell you the movement of the core soul. What the movement is supposed to be. Because And then again, the temperament. That's a whole different aspect. And it's sad that the temperament is twisted. This, you fall in the same dilemma as some of Fila's. How they were bred, because a lot of felines were fed by this. But I'm seeing that a lot of dudes got some official felines, though. Like on some real stuff, some stable official felines. Cavalier Kennels is one. And R. King is another one. He got some official felines, like on some real stuff. But these dudes work their dogs, though. These dudes take the time to understand the essence of it. It's just not just about showing you a dog. It's about actually dog breeding and breeding properly, like on some real stuff. It's like they call souls. They call souls, and one dude call souls is, is, yo, it's going back to the old stuff, man. Like, officially, officially going back to the old stuff. Good dogs. Different look from today's call souls. You like yesterday's call souls. A lot of our dogs should look like that on some real stuff. But they don't. But it's cool though, you know what I'm saying? If your dog is going to be hyper, if it's going to be hyper, then um, I say like your dog should like Don Machetti stuff, even though his dogs like back in the day stuff, like old school stuff. Liz, um, oh man, I forgot Liz's name. But anyway, I forgot, and I don't even know a kennel because I don't really mess with her like that. But the uh, one of the administrators from Understanding Call Souls, her, her dogs are pretty good. And your dogs are good like that. Bodyguard Kennels. Some of Carlos Colon's dogs. Some. Some. Not all. Not all. Not all. Some. Some I like. On some real stuff. The Mojo stuff. Yeah, I like. Like Gabriel Rodriguez stuff. That stuff is good. I could work with that, but I'm not going to just continue to make that, breed it to the old dogs and keep moving forward, to back the old dogs, old dogs, old dogs, old dogs, old dogs, on some real stuff, but the temperament is sound though, I got to give them that, all day long, and the looks ain't bad, it's not extreme, and if a dog is not extreme, I could deal with that.